Justine. All the gossip. 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 The Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Well, congratulations to Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. They are officially husband and wife. That's beautiful. So last night she announced the news on Instagram. There was a video that showed Mr. and Mrs. Muggs in black and white baseball hats that said bride and groom on them. And she posted Onika Tanya Mirage Petty, October 21st, 2019. And then she put up the little emoji that has the bride and the groom. So you guys know they had gotten their marriage license. Then after that, you only have 90 days to get married. They got their license in late July. So guess it was, yeah, almost time. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Petty. I love that last name. Okay. All right. So, yes, Mrs. Petty, congratulations to you. Now, let's talk about Gemini Man, that movie that stars Will Smith. They're saying that movie is going to lose $75 million at the box office. They said the movie had a production budget of $140 million and about $100 million, $100 million in marketing. And basically, so far, it's only grossed about $36.5 million domestically, $82 million overseas. So. I, I think at this point, Will Smith has to find a way to... Uh, distribute his content digitally, man. It seems like he's got more of a footprint on, on social media than he does at the box office. All right, now Tyler Perry, since we're talking about movies, right, let's discuss Tyler Perry. Here's an exclusive from the Jasmine brand. They said that he spent about $16 million for his grand opening of his studio. Now, a large portion of that was for travel accommodations for people he had to fly in. And then the studio opening allegedly featured more than 100 chandeliers, $700,000 worth of carpet and lighting, also a fireworks show that cost more than $1 million, and then performers like Jennifer Hudson and Mary J. Blige also were on stage. He also had a, a, a hotel block. Like, it was certain hotels that he just had blocks and blocks of rooms blocked off for, for his guests. And then, you know, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood taped their reunion at the studios. So there you have it. Um, now, Suge Knight says that Nick Cannon is writing a book about him. We already told you that he is going to have Ray J actually as the person who has the rights to his story. He signed over his life rights to Ray J. So now Suge Knight is also talking about what's uh, going to happen with the story about his life. Here's what he had to say during a phone call. Now, the only person involved in that is the person I feel is most credible and one of the most realest guys in this business today, which is Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon will be doing the book personally as a writer. I know he has all the potential and the experience to be a great writer, and he is a great writer. He will be doing my book and involved with a lot of other things moving forward. I think that uh, they will make money off a Suge Knight movie, and I also think they'll make money off uh, Death Row merchandise. But I'm going to tell you the story that needs to be told. They need to tell the story of the actual goons that was holding down Death Row, like the, the security and the, the people that was actually putting in work that made Death Row so infamous. Because well, it wasn't the artist. Well, Suge also said he'll be home earlier than you think. And in addition to Ray J having the rights to his life, his fiance, Toy Lynn Kelly, has his power of attorney. So uh, Ray J has that creative control. Toy Lynn Kelly has power of attorney. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.